In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for potassium perchlorate, that's KClO4. So the first thing we need to realize is we have a metal and then a group of nonmetals. So we have this metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and we need to think about the charge. So potassium, which is in group one, that has a one plus charge. The perchlorate ion right here, perchlorate, if you look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, the entire perchlorate ion has a negative charge. So what's happened here is potassium, which has one valence electron, it's in group one, has lost that electron to the ClO4, and that became the perchlorate ion. Since it's lost that electron, it becomes positive. It lost its negative charge, and then ClO4, that becomes negative. The positive and a negative, they're attracted, that makes your ionic bond. So to write the Lewis structure, we'll first write K plus for the potassium ion, and then we'll put ClO4 here. But we need to do the Lewis structure for ClO4 because it's a group of atoms. They're all nonmetals, so it's covalent. Rather than do that in this video here, you can watch my other video for the Lewis structure for ClO4 minus. I'm just going to pull it in here and put it right like that. Let's move the K down. So we have our K plus and our ClO4 minus. In this case, the minus is going to be on this oxygen here with the single bond. So we have brackets to show that the K lost an electron to this yellow four, it became ClO4 minus, and because we have a positive and a negative, they're attracted together, and this is the Lewis structure. Remember, the positive and the negative, the net charge for that's gonna be zero. So this will be a neutral molecule, but the ions here, they'll have charge and they'll be attracted to each other. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for KClO4, and thanks for watching.